Are you trying to stop yourself from going on another diet? Ah, oh, but you still want to lose the weight. It's not working. <laughs> well, here I am in this video going to tell you how, yes, you can stop dieting and still lose the weight. Hi, I'm Vanessa McLennan, a clinical hypnotherapist, and I help people to lose weight by working on the emotional and psychological side of eating. So before we begin, though, please click on the subscribe button, click on the bell to be notified of my next video. So uh, let's get started. First one is smaller portions. So just cut back on the amount of food that you're eating, but gradually, you know, little bits so that you don't miss it, right? So like uh, one less roast potato, you know, one less biscuit, uh, a little bit less meat, but fill up with lots and lots of veg. Now, I think the worry here is that, oh, I'm still gonna be hungry because, you know, we're not filling ourselves up with these like heavy condensed food, but you will get full definitely if you put twice as much veg on instead of filling up with the potatoes. Now, if you really love your potatoes, for instance, right, then fill up with sweet potatoes or butternut squash so they're not quite as heavy and dense and a bit more nutritious for you. So yeah, cut, see where you can cut the portions down gradually. Write it all down. Studies have shown that the people who write down everything that they eat, eat less than those who don't write it down. And it can be quite, you know, confronting when we write everything down and seeing, oh, exactly all the things that we've eaten, how much crap have we eaten today? But that's the good thing, because then when we write it down and we see everything that we're eating, and you've got to write it down as you're going along bit by bit, you're really then faced with the reality of your situation, and that's when you can uh, be motivated to change it. Cut out the excess sugar. Sorry to have to tell you this, and I know you want to lose weight without having to diet, but if you're eating lots and lots of sugar, oh, sorry, that is the thing that's going to be putting on weight for you. So if it really scares the hell out of you to go, ah, I don't want to let go of my ice creams, biscuits and cakes, well, yeah, you don't have to. I'm just saying, cut it back, you know, bit by bit, gradually, okay? And then just have a plan as to where you can cut it out gradually, right? So like one, you know, less teaspoon in the sugar, for instance, one less biscuit at night, healthier 4 p.m., you know, mid-afternoon afternoon snack right working out a plan of what's feasible and what you can do do it step by step and then it gets a lot more comfortable for you use a diet as a guideline okay be sure to like take all the ideas that diets are giving you you know diets can be great for giving you an idea of like portion sizes an idea of healthier options and like what good foods to you know swap out and like replace instead but use it like that as a guideline right the, the problem is is when we turn to it as an absolute the way that we must live we must eat what they say for dinner breakfast you know lunch and then that's when it just becomes unsustainable unfeasible because it just doesn't fit in with our lifestyle so grab their ideas and use that think of exercise as fun and not to lose weight I remember going to the gym, you know, I wanted to get really mega fit and I started going to the gym, you know, three times a week at six o'clock in the morning before work and, you know, doing running on the treadmill, doing all of those machines and yeah, I did get really fit but I hated it and I was so knackered and worn out and miserable from doing it that of course I didn't keep it up. So now, these days, I do yoga, walking, you know, Pilates and ballet sometimes. Um, and although it's not high intensity, I really enjoy it and I stick to it. And I find myself, my body is actually really healthy and I eat healthily. And because I enjoy it, I keep going with it. So find out what you love doing for fun and enjoy it. So let me know in the comments below what tips you are going to try so that you can stick care of these diets and still lose weight.